Hello everyone, it is Thursday. Welcome to another The Greenies Corner. I'm Big The Greenie, and today we're going to talk about the Giga Chat of video games. Last week we talked about the hottest females in video games. Now I'm going to talk about the most alpha males in video games, aka Giga Chads. We well, appreciate you being here, you coming by. Feel free to look. Um, hopefully, uh, the hurricane's not that hasn't come yet, so I thought, why not stream? Hopefully, we get through this before the um, hurricane comes. Supposed to still get some. I'm supposed to get some good rain and wind, so we'll see what happens. But not much you can do about it when you live in Florida. But thank you for coming by. I hope you have a little fun, and please feel free to chime in in the chat. But also feel free to just look. I appreciate you being here. So let's go over here. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Picture wasn't like focused. I'll share my screen. There we go. So just like last time, I made another tier. This time it's a Giga Chats of video games. You can find this in the description below on the on, my, on the Wumble page. You can do your own ranking. It's 88 participants. So we have on top Giga Chat. It's like the, the most alpha male. Not only is he has all those muscles, good looking, gets all the ladies, can kick butt. Take names, drink people on the table. He's just the uh, manliest man around. Giga Chad. Then you have Pimp, who is more just like the ladies' man, gets all the ladies to pimp. Then a bro, it's more like yeah, just the guy you want to hang, you would hang out with. Another guy, bro, you get a beer with, bro. Then the nerd, maybe more nerdy, intelligent type, really awkward. Then you have the soy boy, which is like, you know, very beta, femboy, very feminine. So opposite of what a Giga Chad would be. The scarf and everything. Got a six pack. His gun on the side. And does leg day. Has strong legs, strong thighs. And I remember in the um, independent um, show that was on YouTube um, short. Show um, there will be Bo. I think he's actually um, they, they had him as being um, gay. It's kind of funny. Oh, we have Soy Boy. So now uh, there's some Giga Chad. Don't go with um, HD. You know, with his, with, his, with his outfit too. So next we have Knuckles. I don't think anyone saw that show on Paramount Plus Knuckles. Oh, we have uh, Sonic, yeah. But he's the last of his kind, wasn't he? Soy boy. I don't know if he's a soy boy. Knuckles. He's not really feminine. I mean, soy boy is like fem very feminine. No way really feminine looking, or I would think acts like a feminine. I would actually put him as more of a bro. I'll have a beer with Knuckles. True. That, well, I guess that's true. 
But he has some he has some fists though, which I mean I could almost make him a soy boy if he into fists, but He has some big feet, but he is an alien, so I'll keep him as well. Well, doesn't really mean that have muscles anyway. I have to check out your muscles, HT. Do you, are you walking some muscles? I never paid attention before. So next is Link from Legend of Zelda series. Link, I could say, I would say maybe he's a soy boy. That's true, he can't really jump. He always has a fairy with him, so I mean, what's that say? I'm gonna put Link as soy boy. Next one Alan might be more familiar with, that's to be Terry from King of Fighters. Terry Bogard. What about Terry here? Hagar? I don't know who Hagar is. I don't know what we talk about. Hagar. I looked that up. Hagar. Sounds familiar, but no, this is King of Fighters. Alvin should know about him. Being the expert on fighting games. I mean, he can kick butt. Oh, no, I don't think he's a Giga Chad. Okay, Hagar. What are you talking about? Nope, nope. He went. He went. Google does that. No, he's in. He's in um, King of Fighters. I don't think he's in Final Fight. Final Fight. No, he's not in that one. You're thinking someone else. I didn't put any of them on there. There's so many that I just kind of went down to 88. I could keep going, so. I want to do like every male character there is. That would take a while, so I just picked like 88. Some of the more well known ones. So anyway, back to Terry. I don't think he's a Giga Chad. Which is usually fighting him. That's true, I think of it like that. 
like a Street Fighter wannabe because you don't really hear much about King of Fighters. It's always Street Fighter or Tekken. Even Dead or Alive, really, DOA. But then. Next is from Assassin's Creed series. Ezo. Ezo. Antoli. Da. Why is no Ezo? Uh, Italian name. I'm gonna butcher the whole name if I say. Never bad, you should have been soy boy then. We'll put him as the What about Ezo? I can't say it. Huh? Ezo. Ezio. Ez Ezio? From Assassin's Creed series. I played the first two Assassin's Creeds, I never played any other ones. He's an assassin. Really outfit. Yeah. It's the hood and everything. What are you thinking, Soy Boy? Oh no. I mean, yeah, I guess he kind of is. Yeah, we'll go with Soy Boy. Next is Toomba from the Toomba series. That was back on the PlayStation. And yeah, Toomba 2 as well. Uh... What do you think of Toomba here? You would even though he has pink hair, but it was a different time. The, I don't know, Tuba came out in the mid 90s? I think so. The mid 90s. I don't think he has a girlfriend, that's the thing. Well, that might be his girlfriend. I'm not sure that's his girlfriend or not. Kind of like a Goku, Dragon Ball, kind of goofy, but strong. This is. This is it. I don't know what that. But... Yeah, this must be her. Tabby must be her, his girlfriend. I know he had a girlfriend. The second one. Friend zone, soy, soy boy. A lot of soy boys. Okay. Next, we have Squall for Final Fantasy VIII. Kind of the silent booting type. A 
of those pretty boys. Oh, hey, Joker, how are you? Thank you for coming by. How are you doing today, sir? Appreciate you being here. How are you doing? You haven't missed much. Let's talk about the Giga Chads. Who are, who are the Giga Chads of video games? Right now, I'll talk about Squall. Is he a Giga Chad, a pimp? Whoa, nerd, a soy boy. What do you think of Squall? He has that gun blade. Is he a Giga Chat though? I don't know. What do you think, Joker Alwyn? HT just likes the gunblade. Gunblade is cool. That way, make him Giga Chat. Well, it does. It's, it's a gunblade. Shoots, and it can kill. This guy. There's a little trigger there. The sword and the gun at the same time. If you play Final Fantasy 14, then you can be a gun breaker, then you can actually um, wield these type of guns. 14. HT is number one. What do you think, Joker? I'm not seeing. I don't know if it's really one. I was thinking, bro. Yeah, it's not just he's dressed all all the Final Fantasy characters which are dressed pretty cool looking. I will go with bro. I was thinking either bro or soy boy. Someone you can hang out with, have a beer. Next is Barrett for Final Fantasy Seven. HT might like him a little too much because his, his whole hand is a gun. But... Oh, I still have one. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about. I should add. I forgot to add the. Um, that's a good one. Yeah, I forgot Gears of War. Yeah, that's the one I forgot. I forgot about Gears of War. Yeah, Dom is pretty cool. I forgot about him. I might have to make a. I might have to edit it to put him in. Do it after this one. He has a spot. Yeah, it's a prosthetic gun. Yep. What do you think of Barrett? Final Fantasy 7. He is cool. But is he a Giga Chad? Kinda is. He doesn't take. He could. Okay, we'll have Barrett be our first Giga Chad. Let's do Dominic Santiago from Gears of War.
Cool, it's dumb. Okay, well, I'm just gonna add him. I have enough. We have enough to go through. I said this, this is 89 people together, so it's a, it's a lot. So here's Dom. He's a pretty cool character. He kills the. shoots the aliens. What's the name of the aliens again? Okay, Gears of War. Come to the planet. There's an army though in the Pendulum Wars. A oh, Locust, we had a Locust War. The Locust they had to kill. I, play I only played the first Gears of War back when this came out. I still own, I still own it. But he's a soldier. What do we think? He's no soy boy, that's for sure. No, he's not an environmental activist. He's a shoot. He's a soldier. He just shoots aliens. Yeah, I'll go with Giga Chad. So next is Handsome Jack from The Borderlands 2. What do you think of Handsome Jack? He doesn't really fight, well he's kind of more, he doesn't, he's not really much of a fighter, he's more always a big talker. I remember him in Borderlands too. Yeah, I think we can all agree he's a soy boy. That's an easy one. Next we have Lee Everett from the Telltale uh, Walking Dead series. Uh, point and click adventure game based on the Walking Dead series. You agree, Joker? Okay. Yeah, it's pretty guaranteed. He's not. It's definitely no Giga Chad. survivor of the walking of the zombie apocalypse he hopes this girl clementine the first um season of walking dead and becomes like her father figure protects her, protects her. sees a lot and the ending of season one is pretty Crazy, don't expect it. Won't say anything. I played the first season a long time ago, back when The Walking Dead was a still was, was a was, was a big thing. I would say he's a bro. Next is Snow from Final Fantasy Thirteen. What do we think of Snow?
do we think of snow? The irresponsible, fiery young man. Snow drives headfirst into danger, using nothing but his powerful physique as a weapon. He's restrained by emotions, prone to rash words and actions. Nonetheless, many are won over by his outgoing and optimistic nature. He definitely doesn't think much. He's supposed to, like, fists first. After that. 13. He's in 13 too, but... Oh, you can't you can use him as a playable character later on. What do we think? I think Snow's a blow. Personally. Have a fun guy to hang out with. Next, I will watch my Full Throttle series um, stream. We have Ben Throttle from Full Throttle. And a soldier. Oh, you talk about so I saw that comment. I mean Garrett here? Barrett? Well, he's an echo terrorist, but he's not one of those that like, we have today type of terrorists. You blow things up, take action. We should knock him down to pimp. Okay, we can put him down to pimp. We'll meet in the middle. How's that sound? HT. What about Ben though? From Full Throttle. Kinda does, right? What, what, what's her name? What's her name now? Mo. That's her name, Mo. Kinda shoots him down. Yeah, I think he's still a blow, though. He's a biker gang, he looks after them. You gotta be with. Next is another one that Alan would know, and that's um, Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat! What do you think of Liu Kang? A Mortal Kombat.
Liu Kang is a character in the Mortal Kombat fighting series, a former Shaolin monk and undisputed champion of the Mortal Kombat tournament. He's the eternal god of fire, a protector of Earth's realm, which is Earth, and the former keeper of time. Liu Kang has remained one of the most recognizable mumble characters in the series. And he's like the protagonist. You just seen the movie, the early 90s. First, well, both of them were good, but this one was the best Mortal Kombat. He's appeared in every generation of Mortal Kombat since the beginning. Yeah, I think that's good. I think we definitely is a pimp. Been the only character that's uh, kind of a leading in every um, Mortal Kombat. Next is Wario. Wario. What do you think of Wario? Opposite of... The opposite of Mario. Bad version, I guess you could say. Think he's a nerd? What do you think, Joker? I almost think I see him as a pimp, but I can see nerd too. He is the bum. Oh, he is the bum anti hero. Okay. Nerds have it. I'll take it from the two nerds who said that. Next is hit is Agent 47. In the Hitman series. What about Agent 47? This known hitman. Think of him, he can kick butt. Definitely not a soy boy. Big brain dead. Yeah, he does to be sneaky, right? He has to sneak around, he can't just kill. Chad. Well, we don't have Chad. They have Giga Chad. We have Pimp. Whoa, Nerd. Soy Boy. What well, do you think he should be a? He should. You think he should be a Giga Chad. No, I know Age of 47 is, but I never actually played the games. I saw the movies, okay. Together, I should have a coin somewhere. Hold on, let me get a coin. Coin on me. Hold on, I'll get one.
in the corner. Head to Pimp, Tails, the Giga Chad. We'll say Head is Nerd, Tails is Giga Chad. I was actually have him down as um, Nerd. So Head is Nerd, Tails, Giga Chad. It is heads. So he'll still be a nerd. Sorry, Joker. There's no cheating. You saw it. Yeah. I'll keep the coin. That's a good way of deciding. I forgot about that, so. Keep the coin there in case you get stuck again. Ah, you to 47. Next we have Alistair from Dragon Age Origins. Dragon Age used to be a good game. And Bioware used to be a good company. Unlike nowadays. I don't know if anyone saw the state of play. PlayStation and Dragon Age coverage. think like a knight I believe in dragon in dragon age fights with your companion with a sword shield I think you can be a romantic partner if you're a female character wonderful face here goes soy boy yeah What do you think, Joker, soy boy? Him? I mean, he has his way with the ladies. Well, you're the main character. You want to have his way with them? Is he really a pimp, though? Does he really get the ladies? What do you think, HT? Well, we don't know exactly if it's true or not. Might get the men, too. Actor. Well, I guess you're doing a coin flip. This time, heads. He's a pimp. Tails, he's a soy boy. No heads, hemp, tails, soy boy. Ah, oh, heads, he's gonna be a pimp. Joker gets it. It's a pimp. Gonna be a pimp. Next is Ark from Ark the Lad series. One of my top favorite um, JRPGs. You've seen my other episode of this podcast. He goes out on his 15th birthday to look for his dad, who, 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 who walked out on him, who went missing. He conjures, he, has, he gets the abilities of the five elemental gods. He can use all of them, fire, earth, wind, water, earth.
invite. He gets to go at the end. Well, sort of. Spoil it. He's one of those he does what he'll do what's right. He does get a pretty big bounty on his head, like, what is it? One billion dollar bounty. They think he killed the king, but he didn't. What do we think? Well, just by appearance and what, no, I said, what do you think? I don't think he's not a soy boy. I can make this. Oh, I think he's a blue. Then. I don't think he's a pimp, I still go with Blue. I'll go with Blue. He's a guy you hang out with. You have your back. Next, this one might be a hard one. Owen from Final Fantasy X. He is a former warrior monk of Yevin, a guardian of some of Nebraska and Titus's caretaker. The really big sword. Right to that big sword, he takes a whisk, he takes a drink from his flask. Time to time two. Or the silent type. But when he does talk, it usually wise to listen to him. Yeah, I think I'll go. I think I agree with you on Giga Chad. He's a pretty cool dude. Oh, wow. Next is Bowser from Mario. Sim. It's true, he always wants um, Peach, right? He's always kidnapping Peach. What do you think he is? A nerd or a soy boy? Nerd or soy boy? Soy boy? Soy boys have it. That's true too. Next we have Alex from the Lunar Silver Star Story, the Sega CD and PlayStation. Not the best picture. He becomes a dragon master. Later on, fights dragons. He gets a cool sword, an outfit. And he, and he saves the heroine. He saves the day. He saves the world. And if you didn't know, Luna 1 and 2 is getting remastered. It's coming out next year. So if you haven't played it, you get a chance to play it next year, both on the PlayStation, Switch, PC, Xbox. Is he a soy boy? I don't know. 
In my looks, yeah. Personality stubborn, reckless, and somewhat in, in temper, temperamental with a bit of mischievous shriek. He's also an idealist who believes in helping those in need and longs for adventure. In battle, Alex's stats are high in all areas. He's fast, strong, can take a lot of damage, and he has, his level gains variety of fire and light based spells. And he can summon um, dragon powers. Yeah, I'm thinking Blue. Joker. Like I said, if you haven't played the Lunar, Lunar 1 or 2, well, the remastered of both will be coming out sometime next year. Definitely check it out. Very good JRPGs. Next! Is Cloud of Final Fantasy 7, the one and only Cloud Strife. Kind of mopey. The mercenary with a trusty board sword. But he always gets the job done with. I think a cloud. Yeah, story. But I was thinking story boy too. He always kind of. And he does dress up like a woman too. He does dress up like a lady. Game. And in the remake as well. He does. Yeah, he does. I'll make him a story boy. Let's see. Yep, there he is. Yep, there he is. So yeah, we'll put him a soy boy. You know we know Alan would hit that, but soy boy. Next is Commander Shepard from Mass Effect series. It's pretty much as you, pretty much Commander Shepard. to those enough familiar with Mass Effect and if you're not shame on you he's a graduate of the system of n47 the space army he's like a space marine he has a biotic yeah he can use like psychic powers as well or kind of like psychic powers as well as guns and he gets a cool sword hand thing what do you think of Commander Shepard? He does spawn aliens. I think I told this last uh, last week. I had Liara on there, the blue alien. You can have a relationship with her and have sex with her. And Miranda, remember Miranda, the last, um, the hardest female? She was the black hair chick with the white outfit that she takes off the top. I think, oh, we can do a dig a chat. He is a pretty awesome guy. He gets all the ladies. And men, if you wanted to. He gets everybody. Make him a Giga Chad. I 
What about Conker from Conker's Bad Fur Day? I think of this guy, he's kind of a badass in a way. He has a potty mouth on him and he likes to kill things. Not a cute squirrel. In Giga Chad, yeah, I mean, you see his, um, what's his girlfriend? What's his girlfriend's name? I mean, for a squirrel and a rabbit, I mean, that's a pretty attractive rabbit. What? Well, I'm just thinking as a male, not all together. I mean, you might not be into... I'm not talking about furries here, I'm just talking about this as a... This, um... Males. The types of males. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's a pretty hot... If it was a squirrel and a bunny. I think he did a pretty good job with a girlfriend. This is a squirrel. Think of it that way. Like, it doesn't do anything for me, but for a squirrel, I think it's a pretty top tier girlfriend for a squirrel to have, especially one like him. I mean, that's him. That's his girlfriend. This guy done pretty well. I'm gonna put him as pimp. I think Conk is a pimp. I should, I have, I have Conk as Beard for so I should play that one Friday, maybe. I had to go and play it again. He literally fights singing poop. That's... Yeah, Joker knows what I'm talking about. He knows Conker. Not an appropriate game for Joker, that's for sure. Not really even for adults, even. It's a good game. It would be made. It would be made nowadays. That's for sure. What about Crash Bandicoot? Everybody should know Crash Bandicoot. He was the PlayStation mascot for the longest time. Have you ever played Crash Bandicoot? That's one I should play on Fridays too, the old Crash, Crash Bandicoot. Or maybe I'll just, or um, as a platformer, like I did with Tomb Raider. I have, I have all the um, remasters of the Crash Bandicoot games, 1, 2, and 3. I used to love Crash Bandicoot. But I don't think he's no Giga Chad. Kind of a goofy guy. Oh, you're missing out. You should you should have played them. I'm gonna put them as a blow. Next is Dante from the. The Little May Cry series. Dante is one of the main protagonists of the Devil May Cry franchise, the main player of the majority of the game in the series. He's the second son of the demon Sabat's father and the human Eva. He's like half human, half demon. The younger twin brother of Virgil and the uncle of Nero. 
He is a mercenary, private investigator, and vigilante. The Devil Hunter dedicated to exterminating evil demons and other malevolent supernatural forces. The mission he follows is to of those that killed his mother and corrupted his brother. I'll be honest, I know who Dante is, but I never actually played any of Devil May Cry games. I don't know how he is with the ladies. I don't know if Joker's played the games. I never actually played the games. I know who he is, I've seen him a bunch. I know about I know about the Devil May Cry series, but I just never actually played it myself. Never tickled my pickle, so to speak. Dead. Well, it looks of him. He's a half demon. Half demon has a big sword and the guns. Well, what do you think, Joker? You still there? You played the Devil May Cry series? I'm gonna put him as nerd. Next is... I don't know, I think this one might be... We'll see. He is, so he is pretty much an alpha male. That is... Duke Nukem. What do we think of Duke Nukem? Yeah, I think that's pretty much a gimme. He gets the ladies. He kicks butt. Doesn't give a, doesn't give a poop. We'll put him as Giga Chad. Yep, he's slamming and jamming. Next is Poapa the Wapper. Or Poapa from Poapa the Wapper. Gotta believe. Yeah, I think he should be above. That's true. I'm sure his balls was put that's easy, soy boy. Nowadays coming out more, right? The P. Diddy. P. Diddler. You think that's true? Let's put him. We'll put Duke Nukem as the top Giga Chad for now. I have to agree with Joker. Maybe Poapa the Wappa is the top soy boy. And I think Ben is the ultimate foil. Yeah. So next is Donkey Kong. What do you think of this ape? What do you think of Donkey Kong? You don't like Donkey Kong? He does steal women. That's his original MO, right?
Not gonna say why I don't like him. HT. I'm gonna go say Pimp. He does steal the ladies when he wants them. I don't know if his girlfriend is like Candy and she's an ape. She was, um, they are looking. Dead. I don't know. I have to see what Joker says. What do you think, Joker? Think. Donkey Kong's a pimp or a nerd? Anyone else in the chat too? Any lurkers? Feel free to jump in too. Don't be shy. Alan's been quiet. Nerd? Really? I guess I'm two against one, so... Put him as a nerd. What about DOA? Bass Armstrong, Tina's dad. Think of him, Hulk Hogan wannabe, protective of his fa of his um, daughter Tina. Yet he still has a picture of her in a bathing suit in, in his house, though. It's just kind of strange. What do we think of Bass Armstrong from DOA? Yeah, I don't have price. I have like a bunch of. I have more like more recognizable ones as well as some other ones. Like I said, there's a lot more I could have added, but I only had 88. That's quite a lot to talk about, so. You know, so, so I just had to limit it. Nerd. I think he's a nerd. Yeah, or 89 when you gave me, um, he gave me, um, Dom. I forgot about him. So yes, now it's 89. Yeah, there's a lot that was going through him, trying to think. So, you yeah, still have, a, see? Still have all these still to go through, so. There's a lot. Like I said, there was many more on top of this I could have added, but it was just like, where you draw the lines. I just kind of try to grab a few, try to grab a whole bunch of different types. So next is also from Dead Alive, Ryu, no it's Hayate I should say, Hayate from Dead Alive, Fumi's brother. The ninja. What do you think, Joker? Can't kick butt, that's for sure. Pim. We'll say Pim, but I don't think he's the biggest Pim. He's probably on the lower end of the list, so yeah, Pim. Next! 
is Wii U hardware booster. Also, is in DOA, but also doesn't need the main character in Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden. Also a ninja. What do you think of him? Yeah, I think he definitely is a pretty cool guy. We go out to him. Make him a little better pimp. Well, that's pimp. Next, we have, speaking of, well, I don't know if he's really a pimp, but he did get all the ladies on his island. That is Zack from Dead or Alive. Is Zack really a pimp? What do you guys think? He did get all those ladies on his beach and we had to wear swimsuits to play volleyball. The picture like this would do you differently. What do we think? That looks like an outfit P. Diddy would be into. Boy, boy. What a nice toy boy. Next is Dr. Cortex from um, Crash Bandicoot series. I'm thinking nerd for this one. He's Crash Bandicoot's arch enemy. The head says it all, I think. He has a pretty big head. And speaking of nerds, next one I know um, gets you in for nerd. Technically it's Neo, his first name, but yeah, in for nerd. Anyway, think about that until then. Nice catch, HD. You actually, you know this one, HD. This is the one you actually met me. You met, we met on my Toon Truck stream. That is... list I can't think of his name. Oh the blank right now. What's the guy's name? Oh dear Drew I I was drawing a blank with Drew Blank the guy's name. Yep, HD knew who I was talking about. From Toon Shrek.
This was always character. I would say nerd as well. Gets the job done, but he's a complete nerd. Well, actually, I guess we don't know if he gets the job done, because it kind of ends, right? He has to go back. Never know if there'll be a Toon Shock 2 or not. Next is Elk Mark the Lad series. Mark the Lad 2. Oh, that's not really. He's the last survivor of, of his fire tribe, his fire clan. He wields fire, he has fire abilities. He can, do that. He can control fire. What do you think of Elk? Well, yeah, I can see him as a blow. Just like Ark. Next. Is Titus of Final Fantasy 14 of oh, 10? Sorry, 10 Final Fantasy 10. I don't know why I got 14 from. He likes to play Blitzball, he's the main character of um, 10. He helps Yuna, no spoilers, but. He helps protect the summoner unit. Oh, she goes on a pilgrimage to stop Sin. Weaken planet. Has a very annoying laugh. Give us a little laugh. Let me mute the other music. Fake laugh he does. Oh, it's well. Next is Fox, Fox McCloud. Fox McCloud, Firefox. I think of Fox. Firefox 64, that was a good game. He has that gun or a um, phaser.
Fox McCloud is a red fox and the main protagonist. Oh, Star Fox, yeah, Star Fox. Yeah, Star Fox. Initially a pilot, a combatant, adventurer, and the leader of the Star Fox team. Geography. Uh, He's a pilot. Yeah, Star Fox. I play the 64 one. He's a pretty cool guy though, he's a pilot. He's the leader. I'll go with Pimp. I think Crystal. Next we have Garrus. <laughs> Garrus Valkarian, Valkarian. He's a space alien. Stuff. Yeah, it's Chad Gary. Is that Ch oh, Chad Gary? I don't know what we mean, Chad. I don't know what Chad Gary is. He's a pretty cool guy, though. The Tillian, formerly part of the C-Sex Investigation Division, did military training. A good sniper. He gets a pretty badass scar, too, on his face. So, Garrus. I would say, bro. Next is Chris Redfield from the Red, um, from, from the Resident Evil series. The American Special Operations Unit Operator in the Bioterrorism Security Assessment Alliance. Redfield has built up a decades career in destroying bio-organic weapons and fighting against producers and sellers of bioweapons after his experiences in bioterrorism. 1998. He's the older brother of Claire Redfield. He's also a mentor of American superhuman Rosemary Winters. Again, he's a soldier. He knows how to kick butt. He was a police officer too, wasn't he? He was a police officer of Raccoon City. The original wasn't evil. So oh, was the I'll go with. Oh, I think he's a bro. No, I don't think he's really that nerdy. He's a soldier. Next 
Next is the lot. Well, in Witcher series. Same go out from the TV show as well, but never have, I never watched the Netflix. I know from the game. of the legendary witcher of the school of the wolf actives throughout the 13th century. He loved the sorceress Jennifer, considered the love of his life despite their tumultuous relationship, become Ciri's adopted father. Gerard was subject to further experimental mutagens which rendered his hair white and may have given him greater speed, strength, and stamina than his fellow witches. No, he's more like a warrior witch. Thing. I have to go back. I want to. I have The Witcher one and two. I haven't got a chance to play them down for a long time. It's on my bucket list. There's a Witcher. Witcher is known as a Wiccan Witchman. Someone has undergone extensive training, ruthless mental and physical conditioning, and mysterious rituals. Preparation for becoming an hit monster slayer for hire. Like a monster slayer and trained to, to slay monsters. Yeah, but he's not really like that type of witch though. He's a monster slayer. He gets the ladies too. I think I'm actually gonna put him as Giga Chad. Or uh, Giga Chad a pimp. I don't know if Joker's there. I don't think he's a male feminist. Which is serious, pretty of a life what I've seen on the call. A pretty badass guy. Now, the TV show I can't say otherwise. I think in the TV show they kinda of butchered him. They're not there's actually books that the game's based on books. The TV show is based on the books as well. I'm gonna do Giga Chad. Next is Gordon Freeman. From the Half Life series. Dr. Gorman, Gordon Freeman is the main attack of the Half-Life series. The theoretical physicist forced to defend himself and the human race in a conflict against hostile aliens and other enemies after the failed experiment caused a worldwide alien invasion. Yeah. I think he's definitely a third. I put him up for the higher nerds. But. Next is Guybrush Deepwood from the Monkey Island series. Hold his breath for three minutes.
He's a pilot. Who gets married to Elaine Molly? He's a pilot who adventures throughout the Caribbean in search of fame, treasure alongside love interest and later wife Elaine Molly. Often following the plans of undead pilot but Chuck. Yeah, I was gonna say Sorry Boy as well. He's not. I was gonna say Sorry Boy or Nerd. Next is Master Chief from the Halo series, not the TV show. Commander of the UNSC Naval Special Warfare Command. He just shoots aliens in the face with his sexy computer partner Cortana. I have to agree with you Joker, I think he's a giga chad. Probably right, close to nu Nukem, the second, I think. What I think. Next is Kano from Mortal Kombat. Master Chief. Oh, I don't think so. Master Chief is a pretty badass character. At least he was anyway. I know. Again, TV show. I think that kind of changed. I think on the TV show, he is a soy boy. But the original Master Chief, he's a Giga Chad. Kano. He's the leader of the Black Dragon Clan. He's ruthless, scoundrel, and arms dealer. One, he's coming off way to between Earth and the Outworld. I thought he was Australian too. Is he Australian? Yeah, he's Australian. Look at this cybernetic mask. I think. Remember in the movie, he's kind of a jerk. What do you think of Kano? Next is Hero from Lunar 2. Hero is adventurous youth and the main attack is Lunar Eternal Blue. He aspires to be an archaeologist and is fascinated by stories of Al and Dragon Master Alex. He was old. He has a, one of the, he has a boomerang he uses to, as a weapon. And his best friend is a pink, small pink um, dragon. But he does get the lady in the end. He does get the girl in the end.
personality. He was very adventurous, often goes on exploring the old ruins close to his home. Those grandfathers are filled with the boy's recklessness. He's heard many stories of heroes and their deeds. He has very strong sense of justice that will help anyone who needs it. This quality that helps him lead, help that leads him to help a girl named Lucia who desperately seeks the gods of Athena. Uh, well, this is kind of a spoiler, but he fights for Lucia and helps save her later on and travels to another planet to, to uh, be with her. Well, go with Blow. Next, I think, should be an easy one, if you have, even if you've never, well, never seen him, but it's Tingo from Legend of Zelda. I think we can all agree that he's a soy boy, not even soy boy, that was even below that. Moving down, we still have a lot to go, it seems. Next, we have the Elusive Man from Mass Effect 2. I guess, is he in 3 2? I guess. I don't think he's. Elusive Man is an exclusive, secretive, and well-informed leader of Syllabus. Syllabus, sorry. He has close cropped silver, ha silver gray hair with a steely blue eyes, which appear to be prosthetic. Elusive Man's real name and his life before Syllabus, Syllabus are both long forgotten by most. He is described as having the best and worst traits of humanity rolled into one. He is voiced by Martin Sheen. Makes you go on a suicide mission. Oh boy. Yeah, he doesn't do any action himself. He just kind of... Makes other people do things for him. We'll put him soy boy. Next, another one from Mass Effect, and that is... Yeah, Jacob Taylor. They could tell with a human bionic and former alliance marine under the command of Major Derek Izunami. He resigned after surviving the death attack in Eden Prime. He's also part of the Commander Shepard squad during a suicide mission. Jacob's a high experienced fighter and is skilled in the use of weapons and bionics. Jacob is also a potential romance option for a female Shepard. Next 
James Vega from Mass Effect as well. Mass Effect 3? Lieutenant James Vega is a Human Systems Alliance Marine and a member of Commander Shepard's squad. While Vega is an experienced soldier, he is unfamiliar with the CD, underbelly, and political workings of the galaxy. Uh, he's voiced by Freddie Prince Jr. So that doesn't really say much. Yeah. Former story boy. Next is from the Uncharted series. Well, not Uncharted, it's um, from The Last of Us. Joel Miller. I think it might. Joe Miller is the protagonist of Last of Us Part 1. He's a survivor of the post apocalyptic America due to the ravage by the condescent brain infection, like the zombies. After losing his only daughter, Sarah, in the early stages of the outbreak, Joe becomes a ruthless and cynical smuggler, eventually tasked with smuggling and protecting Ellie Williams, a young girl who is the key to mankind's survival. Joe eventually forms a strong bond with her and becomes like her father. Huh? I don't lose his girlfriend. Did he have a girlfriend then? He was seeing someone with kind of the first one, which he kind of spoilers dies, but. I don't know who you're talking about. I think you think of Ellie. Ellie a lesbian in the game. The girl's a lesbian. Well, they made a lesbian. In the second one. But we don't really talk about the second one. I never played the second one because I heard it wasn't what they did. But I never played the second one. I only played the first one. The first one's a really good game. I think he's a blue. Yeah, I agree with you, Joker. I mean, the one playing him in the TV show is a soy boy. What's his name? Pedro Pascal. He's a soy boy, but that's the actor, not the actual character. Next is Ken from Street Fighter series. What do you think of Ken? He's the best friend of his rival Wii U. Ken's goal is to test his powers against as many different fighters and tries to become stronger, but holds more strength to not want to jeopardize his family life.
Why we was the most serious in the static, static, static of the two. Kenneth's the complete opposite. Stylish, unorthodox, and unpredictable, as well as being much more violent and aggressive than Ryu. He is an alpha male with a giant ego and constantly reminds his opponents about his greatness. While he can be bash, egotistical, and arrogant at times, his heart is pure. He's generally a kind, friendly, and good person, very really easygoing, which led him to starting a family of his own. He never backs down from a fight, no matter how difficult it looks. But yeah, he kind of is the second player, I always still can. Ryu was always um, the main character, Ryu was kind of the second, you know they say here. I, mean, I guess he does have an alpha male personality, but most, of the, most of those fighters do. What do you think, Joker? HT says nerd. What do you think of Ken Masters? Nerd. Okay. Well, it was a nerd. Next is no is one that isn't quite a nerd. That's Kratos from the God of War series. That's him and Radalon. Um, the way go God, the God of War games. Kratos is the main and protagonist of the God of War series. He's a demigod, son of the father Zeus and mother Callisto. He's also the father of Helope and Arthurus, and was married to Lysandra and Lothi. Once the brutal captain of the Spartan army, Kratos led his men through numerous conquests across Greece, eventually facing the barbarians. Overwhelmed and on the verge of death, Kratos struck a deal with Ares by committing a risk to see um, atrocity under his name. Even his own family grew horrified by his actions. Tragically, um, tragically Ares, um, Ares tricked him into killing his wife and child, bringing him the ghost of Sparta. But the ashes fused to his skin. Seeking redemption, Kratos served the other gods of Olympus for ten years, during their labors and deepened his hatred for them. Ultimately, he defeated Ares, uh, Ares and claimed the throne of the God of War. But his fury but his fury against the Olymp Olympians led to a series of battles that determined Greece's fate. I personally think Kratos is a Giga Chad. He goes through so much. I played the first three God of Wars, and then I didn't play the new ones. But I have to walk, but he does have a son who becomes like the father figure. Soy boy? I don't think he's a soy boy. You must have not played the God of War series, HT. You should go play them. They're good games. Even the new one, the newer ones I've heard are pretty good, at least the first one. He's a pretty badass character. He has lots, he gets the ladies a lot. I remember the first God of War, the game starts out with a little um, sex mini game. He gets to um, have relations with the ladies, kind of off screen, but he kind of, but you get to like. Um, button, um, what is it, like a, uh, quick time, well not quick time, but a button, bent. Yeah, he's tricked into killing his own family. He gets revenge. I think he's a giga chad. I don't think so. Next, another Kratos, but Kratos Owen from Tales of 
Symphonia. He is the fourth person to join the party, aiding Lloyd Irvin, Colette, and Gina Sage in the battle at the Monto Temple. He takes on the job of guarding the chosen of man and the journey of re regeneration. Ados is, dis is displayed as a cold and heartless mercenary in the game, though he is also an expert in swordsmanship. The only thing he has in mind at the beginning of the game is to protect Colette as, as it is what he's assigned to do. However, as the journey progresses, Kratos begins to open up a little, often surprising people, giving hints about his past. Which I won't go into because I know his past. But I love Tales of Symphonia. I think it's my number 5 of my top um, 10 JRPGs. By his secret agenda, Kratos has a keen interest in the noise of Rome as a warrior, though he takes a first course with Poach to this. He has two swords. Yeah, it's the one sword. That's right. I think maybe this is a pretty good fighting style. Good swordsman. Oh, I'm gonna put him as bow. Next is one that um. I'm gonna say HT. Um, those. That's Larry. Um, what's his name? These are suit Larry. Larry Lafer. He might be a nerd, but he gets the ladies. Soy boy? You think he's a soy boy? You don't think he's a pimp? I'm not gonna say nerd like they say here. He's been nerdy his whole life, becomes a computer programmer. Soy boy. I'll give you guys that one. Next is Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil. He's a federal agent of the Division, the Division of Secretary Operations, a counterterrorism agency under the WAC Presidential Command. And he's known as a survivor of the Raccoon City destruction incident. And he does save the President's door to Ashley as Evil 4, which I plan on playing after I finish Tomb Raider DLC. Burgers, ribs, and bacon. Expect some whips then when you come back, Joker. He used to be a police officer and then he becomes a special agent. He kind of kicks ass. Use my language, I say that. Before. I personally put him up as Giga Chad. Or maybe a boil, one of those two. That's because I love Resident Evil 4 though, on the GameCube. That was a good game. Looking forward to playing the remake. 
that came out last year. Next is Lloyd Irving from Tales of Symphonia. He's the main protagonist of Tales of Symphonia. He wields two swords. I'm gonna see if he does complain, I'm gonna say soy boy for him as well. Next is Lucky Luke. He was on the PlayStation. Is a cowboy in the Wild West. There's six shooters. Whoa. Yeah, I think he's a blow. I always liked Lucky Luke because of the PS1. I still have it somewhere. I don't see too many cowboys. Well, cool cowboys. I think we have one more cowboy on the list that, that's coming up. Next is Mario. What do you guys think of Mario? The Italian plumber. Let's get Princess Peach, doesn't he? He has he walks that ult that awesome mustache. What do you think, Joker? As a Giga Chad, that's true. Giga Chad, okay. Well, in agreement. Next is from Red, um, Red Dead Redemption. His name is John Monson. Yep. I haven't got a chance to play the Red Dead one or two, but I know who he is. John Monson. Okay. He drove, an he drove into an experienced outdoor running with Dutch. Several others committing robberies, raids, murders, kidnappings, and other crimes across the American frontier. Did 
Who is Alcor? Old West. Ah, no, I think it'd be a bro. Who is bro? He's a cowboy. Wait, wait, he's a cowboy. He's outdoor. Next lucky duke. Next is Toad for Mario. What do you think of Toad? I would say sword. Do you think it's a foil? I would say soy boy. What do you think of foil? What do you think, Joker? He might be strong, but he looks like, he looks more like a soy boy. True, I agree. We'll get to him soon. We'll put him as a nerd, how about that? Read in between. Next we have Mega Man. What do we think of Mega Man? With his cannon arm. Bro. I'll go with the arm, bro. Now, what about Diddy Kong? Donkey Kong's um, partner. Thinking. I think of Diddy Kong. Good. Yeah. I would say the same thing. I like told. Next is Raiden from Mortal Kombat. The God of Thunder. Wayne has been one of the most memorable characters in the fighting game genre as well as the earliest playable gods in the genre. Wayne is the God of Thunder and Lightning, and as such, he's immensely powerful and has complete control of electricity. Wayne's movements in combat are stated to be as fast as lightning. He summon lightning bolts with a thought, project electricity with his hands, and can paralyze and count to take kill or force the opponent's body to move wherever he chooses. <laughs> I 
We'll go with Ned. Next thing we already kind of touched on, but we'll show him anyway, is Luigi. We'll have to say soy boy, right? Soy boy. The next is Nash from Luna. Silver Star Day. Now Nash is definitely a soy boy. Got the bathing suit. He only cares about his hair. He's always making sure his hair's nice and looks good. Yep. Definitely soy boy. <laughs> You're welcome. So next is Nathan, uh, not, I was about to say, not Nathan Fillion, but Nathan, um, I get who's the actor with his name, from Uncharted, Nathan Drake, he's a treasure hunter, kind of like Indiana Jones, that's kind of what he is, if you haven't played the games, um, HT. I recommend them. I played the first two. I haven't. I never played the third one. But I, I have the the remastered version. Whatever I have, I have the collection. So, but the first two games are really good. Both kind of like movies. But he's a treasure hunter. He gets the ladies. Soy. I love you, Soy. I'll go with Blue. I would go with Blue. You have a beer with him. He's a good guy. Go oh, one, two. Buy others. Is Chloe and Elena right here? Both were in, both were shown in my hottest female uh, video game characters, which you can find on Wumble. I'll say he's a blow. He's not anything great. He's like an average guy, but someone you go grab a beer with and have a fun time, just talking about shit. I'll play with a blue. Next, we have Pac Man. What do you think of Pac Man? He did get Miss Pac Man, so. What do you think of Pac Man? He gobbles up ghosts. What do we think? And what is he then? Bro? If he's not a Giga Chat pimp, nerd, or soy boy? HT? What do you think, Joker? I 
I don't think he's a soy boy. I don't think he's a nerd. Yeah, I'll go with Pimp. He has, he got, he has Miss Pac-Man. So, I'll go with Pimp. Next, we have Layman. I think of Layman. He was always a goofy character. I remember playing, I have playing the first way, man. Yeah, I can agree with you, soy boy. I was going to say nerd or soy boy. I think Nash is, well, actually, let's put Nash. Nash is like the top soy boy. Next is Rio. I assume, uh, I can't say the last name. Leo Hazuki, that's right, Leo Hazuki. From the Shenmue series. He doesn't date anybody, but he has there's two girls that like him and want to be with him. That's Joy and um, the other one's the other name. I can't think of a name right now. His childhood friend. He's been taught martial arts by his father, who he watches get murdered in front of his eyes by um, Mandi. He, he vows revenge to get revenge on his on the on his father's um, death. And kill Landy. On his own, I mean, that's his, that's one of his go, one of the, well, love interests. At least she's interested in him. You rescue her in the first one. Oh, yeah, the Shen Ha. He has like three ladies. We always a pretty cool guy. I would think of him more as a bull. He is a good, he does kick a lot of butt though. But I think he's a bull. Move him up here. Move him up there too. Next is Wii U. The other, so we had Wii O. Now we have Wii U. From Street Fighter. We talked about Ken as a nerd. What about Ryu? The experienced martial artist high focus on training Amy to become the strongest he can. He was a wise, humble, self-deprecating, and respectful individual, which is often a jock with pose against the light-hearted fire personnel of his childhood friend, Ken. He wanders the world with a desire for complete mastery of his martial arts and takes both his travels and training seriously. For Ryu, the training and mastery that comes from the fight to all that he requires for satisfaction, declining the more material trappings of his various accomplishments as a warrior. Simply moving on to his next challenge once he's victorious without delay. Unless he's off with food or he wants to converse with friendly rivals. True, he can be a bro. Next is Sam Fisher from the um, oh, Tom Clancy games. Can't think for a second. The 
from Splinter Cell. That's it. Nothing Splinter Cell. He's a retired high decorative Navy SEAL and former CIA paramilitary ops and clandestine officer. Fisher was once a member of the third Eklan, a top secret initiative with a natural security agency. We successfully carried out black bag operations, the very first field operative of initiative splinter cell program. Missions, yeah, it'd be stealthy. Reserve and talk much, yeah. Gets the job done. Yeah, I'll go with Pimp. I might have to make this a little, I might have to zoom out a little bit on this one. There we go. So next is Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. What do you think of Scorpion? Is a resurrected ninja in the Mortal Kombat fighting game series. Is this guy antagonist out of resurrection following those the side of evil out of revenge and anger over the death of his family and clan. After being restored to his human form and learning the truth about his demise, he has been recurring supporting character for the series. He's the most common story with Hellfire, the Nether Realms variant of fire. He's immune to element and primarily uses to confirm the death of its opponents, doing it from his skull while unmasked. He's very versatile with the element where he can summon under his opponent's light, under his opponent, light himself up with Hellfire to create a damaging aura of flames with Hellfire balls that can explode. He's kind of like a ninja. He has fire. He can bring the dead back to life, summon minions. I think then he had the things coming out of his hands too. I remember the movie. He had like the. Stuff coming from his hands. We'll go with Pimp. Now what about Dr. Robotnik? Nowadays they know him as Dr. Eggman, but he'll always be Dr. Robotnik. No matter how they change his name. I think you could say he's a nerd, yeah. Dr. Egghead, yeah. Now what about Tails from the Sonic series? The music oh I forgot to play the music, sorry. Music stopped. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing, Soy Boy. Definitely a bottom. And what about Zephyroth? A Final Fantasy Seven. He's kind of a. He's something.
Final Fantasy VII, this big sword. These clouds arch enemy. He's a former renowned soldier who became twisted. He's a war hero, post boy for both Shinra's military and the company soldier program. Oh, his long hair, yeah. I can see that. Wait, there's a long sword. He's a. not one to mess with. I don't think he's a Giga Chad, that's for sure. Do Soy Boy. Ned. Go with Ned. Next is Solid Snake from the Metal Gear Solid series. Our snake will name David. The old snake. The former special spy, special operations soldier, and mercenary. Get some of the ladies. Yeah, he has to hide the boxes and go around. He kills people. I'm thinking, I don't know, I think he's a pretty cool character. Doing six languages. Oh, I forgot about that. Which one was that from? I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, could you blame him? We'll put him as blue. Next is Sora from Kingdom Hearts. This is a real easy one for me, I would just say Soy Boy. So. Uh, This Keyblade, he fights with Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse. I'm gonna put Soy Boy. Yeah, he doesn't he? Next, we talked about Scorpion, now we're gonna talk about his counterpart, Sub Zero. Why he's still in Cryomancer Sub Zero? By him, possesses gripple control with an element of ice. He could easily defreeze opponents with temperatures of negative 500 Fahrenheit, which is surpasses even absolute zero. So, the point of them becoming good enough to shatter into pieces. Yeah, I think he's a pimp. Go next to Scorpion. Now, what about Sonic? Yeah, I would say he's a pro. I agree.
Next is... Oh, Zelos Wild. Also in Tales of Thonia. I would say definitely Soy Boy. You know he is supposed to tech he's a ladies man in the well, he's in the game, but I've always saw him as a soy boy. No, when I first saw the game I thought he was a he was a woman. But now it's a guy. Who looks like a lady. Of a soy boy. We follow this absurd thing. Oh, HT, I say you like redheads, huh? Maybe Zeus is your type, huh? Like a little like a little surprise down below. I feel like you would like um, Thailand then. Walk is a Final Fantasy X. He's the leader of the island, if he said. He plays um, football. It's like an underwater um, sports game. Mix of football and um, or soccer, football. But he uses the ball as a weapon in the game, Final Fantasy X. His weapon is a ball that he hits enemies with. He's a cool guy. And then Nintendo 2 becomes a father. I would say, bro. He's a cool guy. We're coming down to the to the end soon. Next is Rudy West Knight from Wild Arms. He is the protagonist of the first Wild Arms. He's mostly silent. He doesn't talk at all. He's very silent. He's an outsider, desperately wanting to be accepted. He has always shown in, in, uh, unique abilities. It says ability to use arms or guns by having about uh, abnormally high strength, and has alienated him for the rest of society more than once. Okay. I can see that. I'll put him as Ned, because he's kind of cool character, he's soy boy, he's kind of cool. And there's more to his backstory, I just don't want to say what it is, because it'll ruin the game, so. Next is Johnny, um, is Johnny's? Johnny. Cage, there you go. Mortal Kombat. What do you think of Johnny Cage? He always saw himself as a cool guy, he always saw himself as a ladies' man. But is he really? He's a Hollywood, he was a Hollywood actor. Yeah, so he thinks he's a Giga Channel, so go, I'll go with you, I'll go with Pimp. Then we have Yoi, uh, what's his name? 
Yo, we Lao from Tales of Vespilia, a different Tales game. Leaves his life in the lower court in order to pursue the pursuit of the thief who stole the brothers to call a cry for light blade and areas while supply. After being imprisoned on his castle dungeon in the castle dungeon for trespassing, he escapes, continues his journey with Estelle and his faithful dig, Repetti. Repetti, for the sake of the for the sake of the common people. His journeys have him crossing paths with many new people, placing and thrilling places and thrilling adventure, eventually escalating to a quest to save the planet. Swords, they use a sword, axe, gloves. Yeah, he's kind of bullish. He has a cool dig, companion. Go with bow. I put him on bow, and somebody can see where I put him. Oh, yeah, I put him in blue. Okay. They made a look at. Didn't see where I put him. Okay. So coming down to the last four. Next we have Zavon Arwani from Dragon Age Origins. Elven anti anti ven rogue, an accomplished assassin. He can won't and he, he goes both ways. He likes men and women. I was gonna say soy boy. Kind of has like a little bit of a his um, Mexican accent too. I would go soy boy for him. Now what about Waluigi? We said Wario was, uh, I think, dead. What about Waluigi? Equally nerdy, yeah. I agree. Definitely better than Luigi. Okay, next is Frank West from the Dead Rising series. He's a photographer. He gets stuck in a mall where he has to help free people. He kills zombies, lots of zombies. He just did a remastered version of that too, a remake of that. Well, we mastered. I think, uh, what's his name? The cat on Mumble and Shaman. So he's a photographer. But he also uses chainsaws and axes and all the bomb um, zombies and killer clowns. A freelance journalist. Him. There's that one lady he does get with at the end. Go with Pimp. I was gonna say either Pimp or Blow. Then last but not least, and um, HG helped me with this one, is August from Zenith, the last um, RPG I just finished. What do you think of August? Uh, 
Aki, I don't know, Aki Mageologist, that his name is. He does get to go at the end, yes. He does get um, Avana at the end. He actually, you missed it. He actually has relations with her too. But you on you missed that stream. That was the stream before. Let's go with Pimp. He's a pretty cool guy. Okay. So that's my character. That's my wankings of the Giga Chat. So, top Giga Chat, we have a Duke Nukem, Master Chief, Dom, Owen, Master Shepherd, uh, Amanda Shepherd. Kratos, Galat, and Mario. Those are the Giga Chads we have. Um, if you like this video, please hit that like button. I appreciate it. So take care and bye.